So it's touchdown moon. What's next? What happens in the next 14 days now that the Vikram lander is on the moon surface? There is going to be, remember first, the Pragyan rover that's already exited from the Vikram lander. It's imprinted with the logo of Indian Space Research Organization and the Ashoka Lion emblem symbol. What a moment that India is on the moon. The rover will now explore uh, the lunar surface, it will have a, a long job to do for the next 14 days. The sky is clearly the limit for ISRO and the Indian space uh, program as well. These are some of the first images from the Pragyan rover, of the Pragyan rover as well, when it exited from the Vikram lander. And it will now be experiments uh, that will be done by the Pragyan rover on the moon's surface now. Every Indian. But now when the lander Vikram and the rover Pragyan have reached their destination, what will they really do? The 26 kg rover that descends from Lander's belly will roam around the rocks and craters on the moon's surface. It can only communicate with Vikram which in turn communicates directly with Earth's station of ISRO. As it rolls, rover's wheels will also leave imprints of tricolor and ISRO logo on the lunar soil, leaving India's permanent mark on moon. Rover Pragyan has instruments that study, observe and record the moon's surface. The rover has mission life of one lunar day, which is equivalent to 14 Earth days. Vikram will communicate with Rover Pragyan on moon's surface. Info sent by Pragyan will be then relayed to the scientist by lander Vikram. There are four scientific payloads on the lander that will study lunar quakes. And we'll be able to continue with the experiments, including the Pragyan rover coming out and then doing all the experiments. So we are looking for very, very exciting 14 days from now for Chandrayaan 3. The solar-powered lander and rover will have 14 days to study the lunar surroundings but can be recharged for another 14 days if it survives the freezing lunar night. One of the mission's massive goals is to hunt for water-based ice, which scientists say could support human habitation on the moon in future. Many aim for the moon's south pole, but only India could do it. Now, it is over to Pragyan to dig deep into the lunar treasure trove. Bureau Report, India Today. Thank you.